Previously on Pokemon Mystery Dungeon DX. This is your mailbox. They deliver mail from other po- Wait, so did you just buy me a house? Like, <laughs> was this abandoned? Like, how, 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 how are you making this my house? Where do you live? What's going on guys? This is Bunsy and welcome back to another Let's Play of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon DX. So in the last episode, uh, not much happened. We just started the beginning of our journey. As you can see, I am a little Charmander and I have this Mudkip as my friend. And we just, you know, traveled around this little uh, this little town right here, just looking at all the, the mechanics of the game and stuff like that. We trained at the Makihito Dojo, so we are now, um, I think I'm level 10. And then, like, Mudkip's level 9? Yeah. 10 and 9. So, right now, we're just accepting more mystery uh, dungeon jobs to raise our rescue team rank, and then I'm assuming, like, something story-related will happen, like, uh, pretty soon. But yeah, guys! I am th I'm really enjoying this game! It's so cute! I love it so much! All the memories of, uh, Explorers of Sky are coming back. I just find it weird that, um... Like, there's no guild. It's just... But <laughs> it's just Mudkit walks up to me and he's like, Hey, girl. Wanna start a rescue team? Alright. Like, that, <laughs> that's, and that's all it took! Like, <laughs> oh my god. So, uh... Oh yeah, and we're also having, like, weird dreams, which is, you know, reminiscent of Explorers of Sky. We also had weird dreams, so I wonder if, uh, the human that we used to be was of some importance. Because, like, in the, you know, in the sequel, like, we were hanging out with, uh, a Grovile trying to save the world. So I wonder if we were trying to do a similar thing. But we will find that out later. So, um... Tiny Woods. Oh, I didn't... Wait, did I go to the... Did I pick jobs in the last episode? I'm pretty sure I did before I ended it. Let me see. Uh... Yeah, I took the ones for Thunder Wave Cave, but Tiny Woods has that uh, treasure bonus. So I want to go ahead and get those things. Yeah, money is real important in these games. Because if I die, I'm going to lose it all. Money. Money. Seed. Oh, Revive Seed. Nice. Money. Hey, Rotata! Oh my god, thank you so much! Please come to the Pelver Post Office later! No, we need more money. We're not leaving until we get all the money. Where are you going? Skipper leveled up. Alright, I think that's everything on this floor. Thank you for rescuing me. This is your award. It's 
twist man and a hundred dollars. What's a twist man? Didn't we do good today? Let's call it a night and get some rest. Okay, see you tomorrow. That was short. Again? Am, am I dreaming again? It's that Pokemon again. Huh? They're talking to me? I can't hear them clearly. What are they saying? Huh? It's shaking. An earthquake? Oh, it's getting worse! For a dream, this feels strangely real, but... Is it Diglett again? Being annoying? Uh, hello? Huh? Hello? Uh, you are Bunzi, aren't you? Oh, uh, you can't see us, of course. How very rude of us. Oh! <laughs> We're pleased to meet you. We are Doug Trio. <laughs> So, so the Magneton and the Doug Trios, like, in the game, like, they acknowledge that it's just three of the pre-evolved form put together. So, like, how does that work? Do they share, like, a hive mind, or, like, uh, how, are you how are you in evolution? <laughs> Last night, during the earthquake, our child, Diglett, was it? <laughs> it's, not, it's like three, three dads. What? Diglett? He was whisked away to the peak of a tall mountain. We couldn't possibly climb somewhere so high up. We have short, stubby legs. <laughs> that is why we must call upon you for your help, Bunzi. Diglett was abducted by a Pokemon named Skarmory. It's a vilely vicious ruffian. Please do be careful. Please, we need your help. We must go! <laughs> Diglett out! <laughs> what?! Was so sudden. There was no time to even say no. But I am concerned to hear that Diglett has been kidnapped. It's too bad. I better go. Uh, our first boss fight. Good morning, Bunzi. Huh? You just asked on a rescue mission? Yeah. Oh! Our child, Dignet, Dig Diglett, was kidnapped! Why are you giving me a heart attack? He was taken to Mount Steel Summit. Please, we need your help. Bye-bye! <laughs> uh, okay. Wait, Diglett was the one digging holes here, right? This kidnapping is worrisome. Let's go. I don't really feel like it. <laughs> Let's do more, uh... I'm not sure what's going on, but Dutcher's child, Diglett, was kidnapped, right? Let's check out Mount Steel. Damn it, I can't go- I can't do any more missions? What is this? Hello! Welcome to the Pelimer Post Office! Is this your first time here? Here, you can use the internet or a password so you and your friends can rescue each other. What's the internet? Don't- don't ask questions! If your team faints in a dungeon, you can ask for help, or you can go out and help someone else! And that's not all! You can also rescue your own team with your team members! If someone comes to rescue you, you'll be revived without losing a thing! And if you rescue someone else, you can get a reward! Everybody wins! Everyone can help each other out! You should give it a try sometime! That's a hard no. <laughs> Which leads me to... Hello, this is the Pelipper Post Office. No, I'm good. I don't have friends to rescue. Well, we can do the, uh... The missions that I already have in my, uh... In my inventory. So, that would be... Yeah, going back to Thunder Wave Cave. Okay, so let's do that. And then... 
I have one more Makahito Dojo ticket, so I'll use that on myself, and then we can go and head out and see Skarmory. Thank you for saving Puzzle! This is your reward! Petraberry... Thank you for rescuing me! Sunseed, efficient bandana... Ooh, that Sunseed's gonna be useful. Luciana... And a Blast Seed. Nice. Didn't we do good today? But I feel like we're forgetting something! <laughs> You didn't go save my son yet! <laughs> He's still kidnapped! Hey, did you hear something? No. Alright, see you tomorrow! <laughs> oh man, what a wonderful morning! Feels like I'm forgetting something. My son! <laughs> morning, Banzi. We couldn't do it yesterday. <laughs> so let's go to Mount Steel and rescue Diglett today. Nah. Plunk. Ooh, what we get? Getting hungry. Mysterious dungeons. I already know. Come on, game. You think I'm a scrub? I know what I'm doing. So, so I can't accept anything while I'm... Oh, wait! I can! Oh... I can get things? <laughs> I'm sorry, Diglett, but I wanna keep uh <laughs> wanna keep doing stuff. Oh yeah, let's go to the the dojo.
This is so convenient. Like, I remember what I would do to get, um, those levels. So, you guys remember, like, um, what do you call that thing? Uh, the wonder codes, right? So there'd be, like, people who would make their own wonder codes for, like, extremely easy missions, like, oh, save the Jigglypuff in the easiest, uh, mystery dungeon in the game, and you'll get, like, well, uh, it was like, I think it was Golden Seeds or something like that, <laughs> that would raise your, uh, your level, like, by five or something like that. But people would, like, I think they use action replay to make make their own codes. I'm not sure, but I would just find I would just find codes on the internet and I would <laughs> that's what I would do. Five all orb, nice. Fierce bandana and a perfect apple. Didn't we do good? Let's call it a night. All right, we've just we've sufficiently ignored. <laughs> Uh, Diglett for long enough. He's probably dead now. Skarmory ate him. So, let's go to, um, let's go to the cave. Ew, more stuff! What's in here? Using moves. I already know, game! A special gift from the organization. Uh, for a hard worker like you, try to significantly power up by using the enclosed silver dojo ticket! Okay, finally something cool! Okay. Let's, uh, before we go, let's see what items we can get. Uh, gravel rock, apple... I, uh, using it defeats all enemies in the same room with a single shot. Sometimes it misses, but using it in the monster house is really powerful. Uh, reset orb. Using it will end the awakened condition for all enemies and allies on the floor. This... I doubt I'm gonna be seeing a monster house anytime soon, but I'll take it. Just so I can have it, and I'll keep it in my storage. Alright. What do you have for me? Psy Shock, Sky Drop, Stone Edge. None of these I can use. Well, that sucks. And, uh, we, we most likely have to wait until the first story of the game is over for us to evolve, right? I'm assuming it's like... I know we keep bringing up the sequel, but that's all I have to compare it to. So is there like a... a main arc, and then like, a second, like, arc after that, and then we can evolve and stuff? Cuz... Mudkip, like... He's not- he's- he's not gonna be a ground type until he at least becomes a marsh stomp, so... Right now, he's just a water type that knows ground moves, so... If we go to, like, an electric area... I mean, he's doing alright in Thunder Wave Cave, but if we go to, like, a stronger electric area, like... 
I'm a little concerned. But, uh, I mean, we'll be alright. The We'll be alright. Alright, I'm using this ticket on me. Because I'm the leader. How much was this worth? Damn! Three whole levels? I need to get more of these tickets. You wanna keep going? I don't have any more tickets. Alright, Diglett. I'm coming, buddy. Oh! Uh, let's go through my storage right quick. Uh, what can I put away? This item is equipped. The power of moves is greatly increased. Ooh, yes! Uh, twist ban. When equipped, it prevents all the wearer's stats, such as attack or defense, from being lowered. Wow! You get these this early in the game? That sounds really good! Efficient bandana. When the item is equipped, moves sometimes won't cost PP to use. That is awesome! Uh, using it revives all your fancy teammates, but once you go to the next floor, you won't be able to revive any teammates except the main one. Oh, so it doesn't, like, expire? Like, I just have it? Hmm. I'll take that. And... Seed, and I will take. I'll take this. All right, slap that on me. Wait, no trash. No, how do I put it on? Can I? Can I only put it on in the dungeon? Maybe that maybe that's what I gotta do. Alright, let's go. Here we are, Mount Steel. So Diglett was whisked to its peak. That's right! <laughs> the peak is 9F. Thank you for, for helping. Farewell! Uh, uh, let's just go. <laughs> I mean, we're going up against a Skarmory. I'm a Charmander. I think we'll be fine. Oh, a 
Beldum? When when can I start recruiting Pokemon? Cause I love Metagross. He's one of my favorite Pokemon. When does that start happening? From a dungeon, you can check your teammates' moves, remove settings. I already know. I already know, game! Why are you telling me things you've already told me? I swear, this game loves to repeat itself. I know! Alright, so I have to I have to wait to put it on in a dungeon. There we go. traps on the ground! Oh my god, I hate that! I just exploded for no reason! Diglett's over there! How'd you get over there? <laughs> Help me! <laughs> it's been three days! Where the fuck were you guys? <laughs> uh, we were off on missions? What? <laughs> After my dad told you I was up at Look, are you paying me? I gotta make money somehow, okay? Calm down. <laughs> we came to rescue you. I'm scared. Ooh. Oh my god, Skarmory is so cool. You! What do you think you're doing here? Uh, we're here to rescue Diglett! Skarmory, don't do this! Release Diglett! How dare you! It's their fault! I haven't slept in days because the earthquakes frightened me so! Every night we had them! Those earthquakes are caused by this brat's ilk running wild in the ground! I don't think that's true! Well, it's true that there have been many earthquakes lately, but it would take more than Diglett's family running wild below to cause earthquakes. You be quiet! They'll fight if you keep that up. It's no good. Skarmory's too agitated to listen to reason. We'll have to fight it out. Up. I'll flee for now. <laughs> you, 
You damn brats! <laughs> hey there, we chased Skarmory off. It's okay now. Come down over here. I can't. I'm too scared to move. Uh, okay, no problem. We'll come to you. You just wait. Whoa. Sheesh, look at that cliff. I can't see the bottom. Bunsy, what do we do? We can't get across this way. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the Magnemites! Oh, you're the Magnemite we saved! <laughs> we got word of this. We can rescue Diglett from the sky. <laughs> I love their little waddles. <laughs> it's like it's like they're walking, but they're in the air. Hold on to us tight. Zip, 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 zip. Don't be scared. We won't make a mistake of zapping you. Zip, zip, zip. But he's a he's a ground type. Even if you did zap him, it, it wouldn't do anything. Okay. We did it. Oh, I was very scared. Maybe because I was somewhere up so high. My feet feel like they're still walking on air. Feet? <laughs> feet? He has them? Feet? Hmm. <laughs> uh, well, you're safe now. And that's what counts. Yes, thank you very much. Even though it took you like three days. <laughs> oh, you've been rescued. Great, great. Huh? What was that? Am I hearing voices? Whoops, you can't see us? That's terribly rude of us. Oh! <laughs> Hello, Dugtrio here! Daddy! <laughs> Diglett, you had us worried. You're not hurt? No, it was scary, but I'm alright! See, it's like... <laughs> so it's three... So the Diglett... It's like three put together, right? So it's like... Again, is it like a hive mind or uh, why am I thinking about this? It doesn't matter. It's all thanks to Bunsy's team. Thank you for everything. Your heroes. You should be thinking our Magnemite friends. This rescue team is impossible for us to do on our own. Oh, how rude of us. Thank you so much. No, no. It was the only thing to do and how both our of all forms are joined trios. <laughs> <laughs> I felt a certain kinship. <laughs> After all, Pokemon must help each other. I'm impressed. Sincerely, thank you. We must be uh, we must be going, Bunsy. Skipper. Thank you. Farewell! Ha! You got a max either. But you can't hold any more, so it was sent to Kangaskhan. And he'll see. Nice. And 800. We'll be on our way to... Oh, wait! Don't go! What is it? We have shit to do. <laughs> uh, would you like to join our team? Join your team? Yes! We couldn't have done the last job if you weren't around, Magmite. I thought we would need more help for doing rescues in the future. Bunzi, don't you think so too? Uh... Oh, so are we gonna, like, make our own guild? So we're just gonna recruit people? I guess, yeah. So, how about it? Will you join us as members of our rescue team? Rescue team? That sounds fun! Zip, zip, zip. But if you need us to rush over to rescues, we need somewhere to live close by. Is there anywhere we can live in the area? Where do you live? I'm assuming you live near the town. Um, well, oh, there isn't. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> Sorry, but we can't join you. Not until you buy us a house. <laughs> See ya, bitches. <laughs> That's too bad! Oh, so because I can't find you a freaking house, you're not gonna help me?! <laughs> but it's true that team members should be close by so they can leave quickly. I guess we need to find places for Pokemon to live if we want them to join our team. I know! 
Let's go out to Pokemon Square tomorrow. There's an interesting place called the Camp Corner. It wasn't open the other day when we went to the square. It should be open tomorrow, though. It's next to Felicity Bank. Wigglytuff is usually there every day. We may be able to get some information. Okay, that's what we'll do tomorrow. We'll go to Pokemon Square. Alright, sounds good. Again? It's that dream again. Oh, it's a Gardevoir! That Pokemon. Who could it be? Huh? I'm hearing better this time. What? Human? My role? But wait! Please tell me more! I can't. Drifting off. Blah. Oh, so my partner was a Gardevoir. Is she like my Grovile in this game? <laughs> I mean, no one can top Grovile, because, come on, Grovile's Grovile, but, <laughs> you know what I mean. Morning, Bunsy! <laughs> What's the matter? You haven't woken up yet? Oh? You've been having strange dreams. What was strange about them? Bunsy told Skipper about the dream. Uh, human? Okay. Bunsy, you said you're actually a human, right? So maybe those dreams have some connection to how you became a Pokemon, Bunsy. I love how Skipper just, like, is like, Okay, you're a human. Alright, like, he just accepts that. By the way, Bunsy, what do you want to do? Do you want to turn back into a human? Huh, it's true. I haven't thought about it much, but... Do I even want to become human again? Uh, no. Humans are lame. <laughs> now that you're a Charmander, you can become a Charizard and you can fly around. I want to be a human again, I'm not sure. Now, fuck that! If I- <laughs> if I turn into a Pokémon and I live- like, no, okay. So if I turn into a Pokémon and it was the Mystery Dungeon universe, then no, I wouldn't want to change back. But if I was a Pokémon and it was the regular Pokémon universe where I am owned by someone, fuck that. Because I'm not about to get my shit rocked for nobody but myself, okay? <laughs> yeah, because at least in this world, like, the Pokémon, like, they have, like, a society, they have sentience, you know? Like, they're not- they're not- but in the Pokémon- but in the regular world, they're just, like, animals, you know? So, no, I, I want... yeah. <laughs> At least that's what I would do. I'm not sure. Huh. What's wrong? Is this a dilemma for you? Oh, I hope so! It sure is more fun to be here with me! Cause I'm great! Oh yeah! <laughs> anyway, we were supposed to go to Pokemon Square today. Do you remember? We need to get information on how we can add members to the rescue team. Let's get going. Off to Wigglytuff's camp corner we go. Oh, so this is, uh... So now I can probably start recruiting, uh, opponents I fight. Oh! Wigglytuff! Are you the Wigglytuff? For, are you the Guildmaster? Oh my god, that would be so cool if you were that Wigglytuff. Welcome to Wigglytuff's camp corner! Oh? Is this your first visit here? Oh, I get it. You started a rescue team, didn't you? You've come to the right place. I've been sent by the rescue organization to support teams like yours. My main role is to provide rescue team camps. Camps are placed for members on, the, on your rescue team to stand by until dispatch. You can choose different spots for your camp, like the forest or by the water. So make sure you build a camp that suits the Pokémon you want to rescue, uh, re recruit. Normally you would need money to build a camp, but I'll make you a special deal! Since you're here for the very first time, I'll give you three camps for free! Damn! <laughs> you can just do that? Here we go! Camps, camps, we all love camps! Ta! <laughs> Congratulations! 
You can go to the Wild Plains, the Stump Forest, and the Sky Blue Plains now. Now you can recruit Pokémon that live in these camps. In dungeons, sometimes Pokémon you're battling will want to be your friend. <laughs> After you've beaten the ever-loving shit out of them, <laughs> they'll start going through Stockholm Syndrome and want to be with you forever. <laughs> in that case, they may ask you to join your team. That's it for now. Good luck! If you're giving camps away, can you also give my friends access to the power plant camp? I also want to join Team Dragneal. Oh, gotcha! I'm giving it away today! Camps, camps, we all love camps! Ta! Congratulations! You can now go to the power plant! So I just got four camps for free. Yes, now I can wait at the power plant camp. Yay! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know my friend turned you down turned down your offer to join your team yesterday. But after mulling it over all last night, my friend got an overwhelming desire to become your team member. I apologize, but could you allow my friend to join your rescue team? Oh wow! Don't forget we were the ones that asked your friend to join us. So yes, that'd be awesome! Glad to have your friend on board. Alright, good on you. Oh, look at this little dance! Oh, this is this game is so cute! Look at it go! Do your best and try not to hinder your rescue teammates. Blah, 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 blah. Yay! I'll do my best! Yay! Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh, you're level 7? Oh. Do you want to give Magnemite a nickname? Uh, no. I don't care that much. I'll be resting up at the power plant camp. If you want me to long for a rescue, come get me. Okay? Bye. You can go to your rescue team camps by taking the left path from your base. If you decide to take Magnemite with you, take the bottom path from your base. Before entering the dungeon, you can edit your team. That's all the giveaways today. Good luck with your rescue work. I don't know why I gave him that voice. Are you the guild master? Please! You act like him. You even say you even do the little dances and the songs. <laughs> Not all wiggly tufts look the same, Bunzy. That that's speciesist. You can't do that. <laughs> but he looks just like him. Do you at least know him? Oh, so all wiggly tufts know each other now, Bunzy. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, Bunsy. It's not like that, bro. Huh? What's going on over there? There seems to be a commotion. Please! Help my friend! Please! I need your help! Forget it. We're not about to work for that. Oh, but my friend needs a gust of wind, please! Uh, hi. What's going on? Huh? That scene there? Jump plus begging for a rescue mission, but not finding any luck. See that guy? There, the one in the middle with the pointy nose. <laughs> He's a Pokemon named Shiftry. He's got his own rescue team. But his team's greedy. They don't work unless they get paid royally. Jump plus has been begging for help, but I feel sorry for that poor Pokemon. Wait! Whoa! Look at these guys! A, a full-on Charizard, an Alakazam, and a freaking Tyranitar! Oh! I love Tyranitar. That's one of my favorite Pokemon. What, what do you want? <gasps> it's Alakazam! It's Alakazam! Oh my god, it's Alakazam! Rather cold-hearted, aren't you? To save Jumpluff's friend, a strong wind is needed. Your leafy fans can whip up powerful winds. It's an easy matter for you. Help that Pokemon out. Ugh. Okay, we'll do it. <laughs> wow. That shift tree agreed without any argument. Say, who are they? What? what? You don't know? It's Alakazam's team! They're the most famous rescue team around these parts! That's Charizard! His flamethrower can melt mountains. 
That's Tyranitar! He takes great pride in his armored body and amazing strength. And that's the leader, Alakazam! Alakazam doesn't like physical attacks. He fights with psychic powers. He's endowed with an amazing brain and an IQ of 5,000! Apparently he's memorized everything that's happened in the world. Alakazam does all the commanding of the team. He's clearly in charge. Thank you! No need for thanks. It is only natural that you get your help. If anyone turns you down again, come see me. Take care. Cool. I wouldn't expect less from a gold rank rescue team. What's wrong? What's up? Oh my god, that's gonna be me one day. Hell yeah! It's fine. Nothing. Oh, he knows. He knows I'm a human. Let's go. <gasps> that was scary. Sheesh! C cool! Oh, Bunzi! We need to become like them! L let's recruit more members and make our rescue team first class! Not if I can help it. <laughs> Look, there's a gun goer. <laughs> oh my god. Next morning. Good morning, Bunty. Let's do our best rescue work today. I wonder what was delivered. Uh, let's see. Pokemon News Special Edition. Introducing Rainbow Gummies. Super Sweets Popular Rescue Team Camps. Camps are for gummies. Gummies are for camps. Why are they so popular among rescue teams all over the world? They're tasty, and on top of that, they occasionally let you acquire a mysterious power called Rare Qualities. Gummies are quite precious. But to celebrate the camp opening, here's a special giveaway from the Pokemon Rescue Organization. Three Rainbow Gummies! Power up by eating gummies at camp and be the best rescue team. The end. Wow, this is great! There are three, so let's share them with Magnemite at the camp. Ah, let's not. I don't see myself using Magnemite. <laughs> let's be honest here. You can go to the camps on the road. Yeah, no. Magnemite's not getting these. I'm assuming these things are very rare. And I, uh, I have one in the storage. Oh, I, I don't hold them in my, in my, uh, bag, I guess. Let's go to Magnemite at the campground. Magnemite should be at the power plant. Oh, look at this map! It's so pretty! I love the- I love how they know that people want to look at the art, so they specifically made a look at the scenery button. That is so- look at all this! Oh, there's an island, like, floating in the sky! Oh! So is this like... I don't... I don't remember how the map was in Explorers of Sky. Is this the... Are, are we in the... No, I don't think we're in the same area. What, like, is it like, um... Like the regular Pokemon games where there's different regions? Are we like in a different part? This looks so pretty, though. Alright. Uh, power plants. The original sprites! Oh, that's so cute! Bunzi and Skipper came by. What do I do? I don't- 
I don't want you to have the gummy. Drinking it raises your special defense. This effect is permanent. Oh. Wait, does it matter where I eat it? Like, if I... Because... Alright, so say I'm in the power plant right now, but I'm a fire type. Does that affect my stats in any way, or is it fine wherever I eat it at? Eh, I'm sure you guys will let me know. Wow, Bunsy grew explosively! HP rose by 5. On top of that, looks like Bunsy will acquire a new rare quality. Squad up. The more members you have on your team, the more likely it is that Pokemon you battle against will want to be your friends. Rare qualities affect the whole team. Oh, cool. Okay, let's give one to uh, Skipper. What's, what's the DX gummy, I wonder? Oh, so his attack went up. Attack rose by one. On top of that, looks like Skipper has a new quality. Link boost. The power of linked moves is boosted. The, mo the more moves are linked, the more powerful they become. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I'm not giving my gummies to you, Magnemite, because I'm not going to use you. Bye. <laughs> Alright, what do I do now? So we're best like always. Alright, let's go check the, uh, the job site. Thunderwave Cave, Mount Steel, Oddity Cave. Oh, have we been there before? That doesn't sound familiar. All right, well, let's get all the Mount Steel ones. When you complete a request with a special reward, the Pokemon who made the request will want to join your team. You need a camp for the Pokemon to stay at, though, so go to Wigglytuff's camp corner and make uh, the camps you need. Oh, this Tyrog wants to join me? Special reward. Oh. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna use him, but okay. Ooh, a golden ribbon! Okay, I need that. Because... I can sell- I can sell that. Alright, let me talk to Wigglytuff. Alright, how many camps do we have? View Plains. A lovely area with a fantastic view. Flowers bloom and profusion ar around fresh springs. Grass-type Pokemon will adore it. Thundercrag. Mount Discipline. Mount Green. Mount Cleft. Flyaway Forest, Secretive Forest, Vibrant Forest, Mushroom Forest, Overgrown Forest. There's a lot of forests. <laughs> Jungle, Poison Swamp, Safari, Weathering Desert, Ravage Field, Scorch Plains, Crater, Echo Cave, Boulder Cave, Frigid Cavern, Tadpole Pond, Turtleshell Pond, Rub Rub-A-Dub River, how cute. Board Swamp, Icefield Beach, Shallow Beach, Magical Sea, Serene Sea. Treasure Sea, Deep Sea Floor, Decrepit Lab, Waterfall Lake, Evolution Forest, Mystic Lake, Magnetic Quarry, Dragon Cave, Age Chamber A through N, Age Chamber O through question mark, Ancient Relic, Mount Moon View, Darkness Ridge. Huh, so there's some that are like super expensive and some that are relatively cheap. So let's just buy as many of the cheap ones as we can. All right, that's enough for now. Uh, do I have any more? No, I don't think I have any more tickets. No, I don't. I need more of those. Those things are so useful. All right, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Do you say anything new, Wish Cash? I've lived in this pond for many long years, but never have I seen such frequent natural disasters. I see, I see. Is 
there any moves that I could actually use? Earthquake, Psychic, Aerial Ace, Facade, Flame Charge? Oh fuck, I need that! Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let me sell something. I want that move. Actually, well, oh, what do I have on me that I don't care about? Uh, I just need a couple more, because the move is 1700. Alright, I got it, and now I'm poor. <laughs> I only have two pennies. Uh, but it, it'll be worth it. We have flame charge. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. That was that was pretty fun. That was a pretty fun episode. So we saw that Gengar, I'm assuming he's gonna be like our rival. Like I remember in uh Sports of Sky there was what was the team called? I think their name was Team Skull, I think. It was like a, it was a skun tank, a coughing, and a Zubat, I think. And that was like the the quote unquote like evil like team, even though they weren't evil, like they weren't trying to, they were just kind of like, you know, like, you, you know how Jesse and James, technically they're the bad guys, but they're idiots. That That's what they were, so maybe that's what that Gengar is. <laughs> um, yeah, the Skarmory fight was, like, not that hard, considering I'm a Charmander, so, <laughs> yeah, that was pretty short. And, uh, yeah, the Alakazam team, that looked pretty badass, their gold rank. So, we got we definitely got a long way to go. We're Ricky rank, but our next rank is 400 points away, so we'll probably do that. We'll probably be able to get to the next rank in the next episode. But all right, guys, if you made it this far into the episode, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Please leave a like and a comment down below if you like what you saw. Have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are in the world. Know that you are loved. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye, guys!